Norway has a unique coastline that is unmatched anywhere else in the world. It is filled with magnificent cliffs and deep fjords, attracting many tourists who come to witness its enchanting beauty. However, for the people living in Norway, these fjords and rugged coastlines pose a challenge. Around one-third of Norwegians reside along this coast, and traveling between towns and cities can be difficult due to the winding and meandering roads. But now, Norway has a solution to improve its infrastructure. They have planned to build the new E39 highway, which will stretch from Trondheim in the north to Kristiansand in the south. This highway aims to become as iconic as famous roads like Route 66 and the Pacific Coast Highway, connecting communities and making travel easier for everyone. In this video, we're going to discover an amazing project that will leave you in awe. We'll find out how an astonishing $47 billion is being used for this incredible endeavor. Throughout its history, Norway has had a strong connection to the sea, the towering cliffs of the fjords providing a haven for ancient farmers and fishermen during the Iron Age. These narrow waterways not only served as shelter but also as strategic harbors for the mighty longboat fleets that raided European shores between the 8th and 10th centuries. Although the days of the fierce Vikings and their expeditions are long gone, the fjords and rugged coastline remain. Carved over thousands of years by enormous glaciers, the fjords stand as a lasting reminder of the Ice Age, a time when the Earth was greatly impacted by powerful icy forces. If you're planning a trip from Christiansand to Trondheim today, you won't be using a longboat like in the past. Instead, you'll rely on ferries. Currently, the E39 road, which spans 1,330 kilometers from Denmark to Norway, is interrupted by ferry stops that cross the fjords. There is no continuous road, resulting in a long journey that takes a staggering 21 hours and involves seven ferry rides. This makes it the route with the highest number of ferries for a single road in all of Europe. However, there is hope on the horizon. The Norwegian government has undertaken an ambitious 30-year plan to reduce travel times and enhance transportation by constructing a new coastal highway. This initiative aims to increase investment and improve the overall travel experience for commuters and travelers alike. Originally, there were hopes of completing the project by 2038. However, due to increasing costs and other pressing needs, it was deemed more realistic to extend the timeline to 30 years. The delays are understandable considering the complexity of each section of the highway. Let's take the Boknafjorden Tunnel for instance, which costs a staggering $2 billion. This remarkable engineering feat spans a 27-kilometer underwater section, making it the longest and deepest tunnel in the world reaching an impressive depth of 319 meters below sea level. The project consists of two tunnels, interconnected every 250 meters with emergency exits. At intervals of 500 meters, laybys equipped with telephones and surveillance cameras will be available along the route to ensure safety. Additionally, the ambitious tunnel system includes a mid-route intersection at the island municipality of Kvitsoy, connecting the island to the mainland. Construction on the massive underwater structure started in 2018, and it is expected to be completed approximately by 2026. As we move further north, we encounter Bjorn Fjord, a body of water that stretches 5 kilometers wide and reaches depths of 600 meters. The engineers faced a unique challenge in this area. Instead of going underwater, they decided to go over it. Their solution? A floating bridge. Although it may sound unconventional, floating bridges are present in various locations around the world. Norway proudly holds the distinction of having two of the world's longest floating bridges. However, one crucial issue that arises is how to securely anchor these bridges to prevent them from drifting downstream. There are two possible anchoring methods, anchoring the bridge at each end or using side anchors attached to the seabed. In Seattle, Floating bridges utilize the side anchoring technique, but the project manager for the Bjornfjord Bridge, Adam Matthias Egland, explains that the main challenge for a side anchored floating bridge in this location is the depth. While the deepest mooring on the Hood Canal Bridge in Seattle is 120 meters below sea level, in Bjornfjord it exceeds 600 meters at its deepest point. 
However, for the Norwegian team, this is just one more complex engineering problem to tackle, even if it causes some headaches. Another example can be found at Sula Fjorden, where a bridge spanning a 4-kilometer water stretch is required. In this case, the central pillar of the bridge must extend all the way down to the seafloor, which lies 400 meters below the surface. This presents a significant challenge due to thousands of years of glacial erosion shaping the landscape. An alternative design has been proposed, which involves two interconnected floating tunnels secured by strong cables attached to the seafloor. However, nothing compares to the Sognefjord crossing, aptly called the King of the Fjords. Its dimensions are truly staggering, spanning 3,700 meters in width and reaching a mind-boggling depth of 1,300 meters. The crossing of this fjord poses a significant challenge that keeps engineers awake at night. The designs must address the complex requirements of accommodating car traffic while keeping the sea lanes open. This extensive sea highway extends 205 kilometers inland, serving as a vital connection for Norway's coastal communities located further inland. Therefore, any crossing solution must provide clearance of at least 400 meters in width, 70 meters in height, and extend 20 meters into the fjord, all while enduring the relentless winds of the Atlantic Ocean. And if that wasn't challenging enough, it must also remain financially feasible. Despite these seemingly insurmountable obstacles, the ingenious team has risen to the occasion, presenting several potential solutions. While an elegant suspension bridge may seem like the obvious solution, it would need to be nearly twice as long as the current longest suspension bridge. Moreover, considering the high-velocity winds in the area, this option is unlikely to be viable. Another possibility is to construct floating bridges like Bjornefjord, but accommodating sea traffic would require the bridge to be at a precarious height, posing a significant engineering challenge. Lastly, another potential option is a floating bridge. In this design, the bridge would be supported by floating pontoons above, rather than being anchored to the seabed. Engineers have also explored a hybrid proposal, where a section of the crossing would be submerged to allow ships to pass overhead, before transitioning into a regular pontoon bridge. If realized, this would be the world's first hybrid floating structure. Whichever the Norwegian government chooses, the advantages are evident. The completed route would be approximately 50 km shorter, and travel times would be reduced by half, totaling a reasonable 10 and a half hours. The new route would eliminate the need for ferries and significantly enhance navigability. However, with a strong emphasis on safety and sustainable construction methods, the engineering team faces significant challenges. As the largest infrastructure project in the history of the country and one of the most significant engineering endeavors globally, we eagerly anticipate the outcome. When this project is completed, it could potentially become the most incredible road trip in the world. But what are your thoughts? Do you consider it a groundbreaking engineering marvel? Or do you think the Norwegian government has taken on a project that may be too ambitious? We'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to explore more captivating content exclusively here at Superstructures. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video.